Hey guys, what's up everybody and welcome back to House of Aware. My name is Lorena Doe. If you're new here, karibu, karibu sana. Welcome back. If you're an old member, thank you so much. If if you're new here, karibu sana. If you're an old guy, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. Please let's keep telling a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check us out and let's fill this house up. Okay, so... Um, today I'm in my bedroom as you can see because schools have closed and my kids are here and they're noisy as hell Yeah, so I am here to talk about my journey with Bell's Palsy as you can see from um, The title I beat Bell's Palsy you guys I am um, let's say the people that know me tell me I am 90% back and according to the research I have done, most people recover until around 90% thereabout, you know. Um, your face is never completely the same. It is, um, you know, you get used to it and you just feel like it is the same. Um, but you yourself, you know, you know, you know, um, there are some aspects of your face that um, just never go back to being what they were. Okay, so I have battled Bell's palsy for damn near six months now. <laughs> My goodness. Um, most people heal within the first month, but mine went from one month to two months to three months to my goodness i am like almost at seven months now and now is when i can say i feel good i feel um normal i feel like i'm back to you know to somehow to what i used to look like <laughs> so i'll take it you know i'll take it and i thank god for it i thank god for this journey i thank you guys for not making me feel awkward whenever i came back to post a video you know um you develop a lot of insecurities when you have belt palsy you know i never took pictures actually i think if i did i'm gonna be posting them as you watch this so that you can just see how far i've come if i did you know there were very few and right at the beginning when i wanted to send some to my sister and just have her look at it or my aunt or you know somebody just you know like if i did it was on very very rare occasions but mostly i did a uh, video so you can just go back um to my videos you know a few months back and just see what i looked like then but just to explain a little bit bell's palsy is a weakness i have some notes here <laughs> so if you see me looking down that is what i'm gonna be reading it is a weakness of the facial muscle which occurs on one side on my case it was on my right side it occurs on one side of your face and causes your face to drop or you know occurs to be crooked Bell's palsy can occur at any age and at any time of your life doctors have no known cause for it it's called you know my it's some scientific term which i've forgotten but i will write it down below um that is the term that is used to describe it because there is no reason it just happens you know it just happens and for a very long time i searched the internet in search of fellow kenyans or anybody really who had gotten belt palsy i got a few videos online but mainly from white people and stuff none from kenyans you know and then this morning a friend of mine sent me an article about um, this Kenyan celebrity that had gotten Bell's palsy. And then I looked at the comments on this article and there were loads of Kenyans saying how they also got it and they healed, they got it, they got it. And I'm like, where were you when I needed this support? <laughs> Do you know? I needed the moral support. I needed to know that I would be fine. But I didn't find anyone. You know, the people I found were like... Um, you know like out of my league i couldn't relate to them because their form of treatment was different um their lifestyle was different i needed to relate to someone you know but i didn't find any but apparently it's more common than i thought anyway this is how i beat bell's palsy first of all was exercise they recommend you do physiotherapy you do not have to go to the hospital to get your physiotherapy done it is on your face so you can exercise it with your own hands and with chewing exercises you know there are i have makeup on so i'm not gonna do it physically but there's a way you rub your faces which i have done a video on before like uh, a few months ago on just how to rub your face and go about it um there is 
that um first of all and that actually really really helps a lot it's painful as heck let me tell you that side of your face that is weak is painful painful but you have to push through you have to exercise i forgot a few times you know here and there but um the thing is to just keep that side of your face active you know because it's drooped it's just there it doesn't do anything it doesn't have any facial expressions it doesn't react it doesn't it doesn't do nothing so the more you exercise it the more you start getting some sort of feeling back yeah so that was the first thing i do secondly you as you exercise you tape it at night you know there's a way you tape it just with ordinary cello tape it's nothing special um you just tape it so that you hold those muscles back up in position and this is effective during the night you know when you're asleep because you cannot walk around during the day with the tape on your face so tape it at night hold those uh, muscles together in place you know and then in the morning you just remove it yeah um another thing you have to do is be on medication my goodness um this one you have to like there's no um it's a sickness like any other sickness you know and um unless um by some miracle you know you never take any medication i don't know but i feel like you just have to be on medication first of all there were eye drops for that side of the face that eye does not shut like let me just prepare you my eye did not shut for so long even now it doesn't shut completely but it's it's better you know it doesn't shut at night during the day it doesn't wink it doesn't blink it doesn't not wink blink <laughs> it doesn't do any of that stuff so um you get eye drops to keep it from drying and just keep it from getting infections because anything can now land in there you won't even feel it <laughs> you won't even <laughs> you won't even like someone could literally scratch you in the eye and you wouldn't feel nothing you know so um first of all they have to protect that eye um you have to cover it at night when you sleep just to avoid insects from crawling in there or you know anything just from hurting you really so um Another one is um, the first thing they put me on was steroids, you know, steroids just, um, what was the use of steroids again? Um, I don't remember, but um, steroids, <laughs> steroids is a big, big factor to, for now, I think that was for nerve damage, if I'm not wrong, but also, I am a bit different from other people out here only because I have sickle cell and too much steroids for me would have been fatal. So um, my intake of steroid was strictly reduced and I only took it I think for the first month only and I took half a dose of what a normal adult would take. So yeah, steroids and then you have to be on uh, painkillers of course and some nerve medication yeah so it was a lot of medication you guys it was a lot like the nerve medication you t i took those things for so so long i think i actually just finished i went um from neurologist to neurologist and i saw i saw many many doctors first of all what i haven't told you is that mine started with my toothache i had a really 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 bad toothache like i i needed a root um remove uh, a root canal and um, that is what I thought caused my bells palsy because of, it was on this side of my mouth and the first the first day I woke up with the bells palsy I thought I was having a stroke I thought my tooth had really really gotten so bad to the point of it maybe messing up with my brain you know I was so paranoid I thought I was dying but the first thing I thought is what well, damn I'm having a stroke because my my half my face was just dead you know and i was like so scared so that is how mine started although now i know that my tooth however decayed it was however bad the pain was however you know gone it was my tooth did not cause uh, bell's palsy so okay um another thing you have to do you know to beat bell's palsy faster is your diet you guys um you have to stop eat frying fried foods and this was tough for me because if you know me fried food is bay do not eat a lot of oily stuff do not these restrictions were a lot they were too much okay 
Um, so what you have to eat is plant-based protein, um, beans, dengues, lentils, like all those sorts of things. That, that is what is good for you. Drink a lot of porridge, uh, preferably millet or um, sorghum or what is the other one I was told? Not maize. Um, I will I will write it down below um, drink a lot of milk dairy products so that's milk yogurt you know maziwa mala um, eat a lot of nuts and hard hard fruits like carrots those were for practice you know you have to practice this side of because you know you're only eating from this one side this side could not like eating was messy <laughs> so you have to practice you know bring your mouth uh, the motion of eating chewing up and down back to the, so I was practicing with carrots popcorn um, nuts chewing up chew you guys you know um, the little things that we take for granted like chewing gum chewing gum i used to practice it in my house behind closed doors but i would still be embarrassed because you're drooling um your mouth cannot contain this side of your mouth can, doesn't know what that activity it's trying to do is so you're like a toddler who's teaching yourself how to eat eating was messy drinking was messy talking was a whole other story you know and um i just thank god for this far i've come like i used to bite myself whenever i try to talk like go back and watch those videos you keep on biting yourself because your mouth cannot your brain can think it but your mouth cannot deliver what you're trying to say and it was just horrible horrible you guys it was horrible and then of course drink a lot of water um you have to stay hydrated you have to you know um just make sure that nothing else you know is gonna come in contact of you and making you lose all the progress you've done so drink a lot of water another thing that helped me get through Bell's palsy was motivation you guys and encouragement from my family you guys moral support is very very important when you're dealing with something that will just pull your self-esteem you know from a hundred to zero i used to be like a very very beautiful woman very confident i had just started my my youtube channel you know i was just newly single i thought that the dating sites are gonna know my by name my goodness my friends where for who <laughs> yeah as in you have no self-esteem at all it was dragged back to ground zero yeah so um encouragement from family support from you guys my audience a couple of you kept leaving um few messages on my videos telling me i don't look so bad i look you know i look better you know i'm improving and that just gave me the encouragement and the confidence i needed to just keep going you guys so thank you thank you thank you um lastly you guys um things not to do do not reduce your activity levels you know this is one thing i did that i wish i had just not done i stopped filming of course for some time i stopped working i remember i was working in january at some resort once i had left the village and i stopped going because i felt like damn um i deal in customer service how am i gonna go and bring food to someone and i'm looking like this i can't even smile i was very very insecure about smiling because my my smile went on one side even now but it's not as bad so i was <laughs> very very insecure so i i left work um i stopped filming i was just cooked up in my house with my children i did nothing nothing much like i did the bare minimum i showered and ate you know that's it and watched tv and felt sorry for myself and that dragged my 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 healing process you know like i said um 90 percent of people with bulls palsy heal within the first month it's been over six months for me you know because the first second third month i concentrated on feeling sorry for myself and just thinking my life is over and there's nothing wrong with that but i just wouldn't want anyone else to do that to themselves also if you are a person that believes in god like pray 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 like you know what you don't get from your fellow man you will surely get from 
from God, you know, from the Bible. And I'm a very spiritual person. I believe in God with my whole heart, you know, and I, I trust in God, you know, and I trust that, you know, when the time is right, you know, everything happens, you know. So I feel like this was my time to heal. Like maybe I needed to go through this for however long I did. And I feel like I learned, I grew, you know, I became a better person because of this. And, um, I came out on the other side, which is the most important thing. So I might not be a hundred percent um to people looking at me, but to myself mm, I am I am beyond a hundred percent, let me tell you. Like I feel great, I feel like I look amazing. You guys for excuse my hair. I was gonna put on my wig, but then I was like oh who's doing all that so <laughs> i i'm just in the house i'm not gonna put on my wig um just to sit in my on my bed and talk to you guys i feel like you guys already know the good the bad the ugly that comes with me so i just i decided not to on the wig but i feel amazing i am grateful you guys i am so so grateful for this far that i have come and um that's the end of the video please stay encouraged if you're suffering from birth palsy or any other thing you know everything has a beginning and just as they have a beginning they must have an end you guys so um however long it takes you will get through it you will come out on the other side stronger and better than you ever thought you would so stay encouraged keep watching this video you guys um please keep telling a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend to check us out and let's fill this house up i will see you guys in the next video